The bio-drying process can be used to manage all kinds of organic waste, including agricultural waste, food waste, and even high-strength liquid organic waste. In this particular bin to my right, we started out with 90 kilograms of wet organic agricultural waste. And during the four week process, we were actually able to add a further 80 liters or 80 kilograms of high strength liquid agricultural processing waste. In the process, we evaporated most of the water and we used no external energy it's the energy in the waste at work. Although we are quite proud of this, we're actually hoping to triple this amount of organic waste that we can process in the same time period by implementing some additional energy, including solar energy. Success with the bio-drying process has all kinds of implications for the health of our planet, both on the small scale and the large scale. As one example, we have a bin, such as the one behind me here, on an island off Vancouver. And this is used as a camp for youth. And the liquid kitchen waste is processed in this bin. And the feedback that we have so far is that this bin is able to process uh, organic waste 10 times better than any other composter that they've used. And they've been composting for some time. On the larger scale, this bio-drying process can be used to process food waste, residential organic waste, and even municipal solid waste. We can take that waste that has a lot of energy in it and in a matter of days dry it down so that it can either be further processed as alternative energy or for landfill or for further composting. The process removes the water and removes the potential for odor. It's one more success story that we can achieve for the health of our planet. My name is John Paul. I'm a waste management scientist. Thank you.